you want to get on the action, we want to hear from you. Hit us up, faderoutemail at gmail.com. Slide in our DMs on IG at Fade Route Podcast. Drop us a DM on Twitter at Fade Route DNZ. Comment on our YouTube channel, The Fade Route with DNZ. Questions, comments, picks, segment suggestions, you name it, we want to hear from you. Get at us, in crowd. Order up! We are doing a position-by-position breakdown of the top five players in Major League Baseball. So it's time for us to order up. Order up, order up. We're starting with the players that don the tools of ignorance. Catchers. The top five catchers currently in Major League Baseball. From five to one, who you got, Dave? All right, I'm going to start off with an interesting one. I'm going to start off with Sean Murphy, uh, Atlanta Braves. I didn't realize how good he was, and I actually missed on this guy in fantasy football, uh, fantasy baseball. He is got 10 home runs. Uh, he's been lights out behind the plate and really, really good pickup by the Braves. Next, I've got Sal Perez. Man, he's a little older, but you can't run on him. Guy's got a World Series ring, and he's clutch when he needs to be. Number three, JT Romuto. Yep, he's the modern-day pudge, really, with his solid defense and offense as a catcher. Rarely takes a day off, and he impacts the game in every way. Uh, Number two, I like him. I just like him a lot. I Will Smith, catcher for the Dodgers, batting 310, seven home runs, 27 RBI. I I don't I doesn't wear batting gloves when he bats. It's just, <laughs> I just like this guy. And number one, he, it's only his second year in the league, but I think he's gonna be the future of the catching position. And that's Rushman from the Baltimore Orioles. Tremendous upside, and I just like the guy. So what do you got, Z? The list is short. Catching is a lost art. Let's be real here. Like, gone are the days of ha- of having either a solid defensive catcher or an all-around masher, right? You don't have Mike Piazza. You don't have Pudge. You don't, you don't even have Jorge Posada anymore. And I'm not the biggest Jorge Posada fan. Jason Baratek. But you don't, these guys aren't there. This was, this was a hard list to compile, to be fair. But we have the same guys. Ha! Do we really? Not, even, not, you got, you even got Will Smith? Even Will Smith. Now, wow. the question is the order. That's wild. For me, based on the fact that He's having he's having a pedestrian year for him. Now it's early. But I'm gonna go with Real Muto. Okay. He's okay. He's having an okay decent year. Like steady Eddie. <laughs> but he's let's pump the brakes on him being Pudge. Like Pudge was a phenomenon. Like in terms of his arm strength, in terms of you know his ability to like hit for contact didn't flash the power. He occasionally flashed the power, but never, you know, he was not the guy in that lineup that you were worried about. He's not the Juan Gonzalez. He's not a rod. He's not Teixeira. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't even rusty Greer. So like, he's the guy who would hit the double that would put the dagger in your heart. Real Muto's like that, but like, let's pump the brakes just a little bit and let him play a little bit longer before we invoke the name of of Yvonne Rodriguez. For the same reason, I'm going to put Rushman at four. Like, I think it's too much too soon. Like, I like the guy as a player. I think he's going to be solid. I think it's too much too soon. So, let's give him some time to mature. Let's give him some time to develop. On this trajectory, this kid's going to be a stud. And the Orioles have a hell of a find. But 
we've seen players get derailed, right? And this is also not foreign territory for the Orioles either. Remember Matt Wieters? Like Matt Wieters was supposed to be Joe Maurer with power. He was not Joe Maurer, and he was not Joe Maurer with power. So let's see what happens there. Number three, old man Salvi, Salvi Perez. Like, what more can you say about him? Like, he's carrying the torch for the old guard. And defensively, he's a stud. Offensively, he's picking it up. He's already got 11 dingers. He's hitting 280. He's got a slug. He's got an OPS of 852. Like, solid. Solid, solid, solid. And like you said, he has a pelt on the wall at the expense of the Mets. <sighs> Number two, I'm going Murphy. Like, Sean Murphy was very good for years in Oakland. But the problem is he was in Oakland, right? It's where unknowns live. But he, you know, he's like Sid Finch. People were wondering if he's real. But he's finally showing that he is the guy. Does he strike out too much? Yes. He strikes out way too much. But... Who doesn't? Striking out is not as frowned upon as it used to be. He can handle a pitching staff. He is... He's exactly what the Braves needed. And kudos to them for getting him. 947 OPS. Can I interest you in that? I think so. And number one, Will Smith of the Dodgers. Wow, you got him at number one. I got him at number one. I currently have him at number one. 957 OPS, seven homers, 310 batting average, handled that pitching staff well. Has been able to do it for, you know, he's, he's been able to do it. And you've seen him progress. He hasn't been a flash in the pan. You've seen growth. Now, let's see. He's 28. So he is kind of like, he's getting up there in, in catcher years. So eventually, who knows, the Dodgers, you know, may move him off the dish. But we'll see. Right now, I like him a lot. He brings a lot to the table. He brings power. He brings defense. And all around, he's a solid, solid player. Exactly what you want for that team. Thanks for listening to this episode of our podcast. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Rate us five stars. Leave us a review. Turn on subscription notifications and tell your friends. Spread the word. Spread it wide.